uh, Bishop Sloan, uh, your introduction and your presentation. We want to quickly jump into the business of HAC. Again, want to thank you all, the all different houses of worship. Um, so we want to jump into our business right now, and I want to invite uh, Richard to come forward and present to us the budget for approval. financial records uh, that are before you are part of the agenda packet. And I would like to start with the balance sheet rather than with the budget, uh, because the balance sheet also tells the ministry story. When I took over the books about 100 years ago, I guess it was, <laughs> um, Park did not have a lot of budget categories. But if you look down the balance sheet, you'll see that we have set aside money for the Black Professionals Network. We hold these funds that come into HARC and are then um, uh, shepherded uh, by us for that particular program. We segregate the money. Uh, so that's why in a balance sheet, instead of as our, in our personal uh, checkbook, we look at the balance and that's what you've got. But in a balance sheet tells us very clearly that we have a whole lot of ministries going on, and in all those ministries, the monies are being accounted for separately. So we have equity, equity in education, where we are creating scholarships for minority students to attain their teaching certificates, so they, and then they make a pledge to teach in the Washington County Schools. So you can see why a program like that is critical to us achieving our mission of, of having uh, equity in our school system and racial justice both. Um, and as you go down the list, you'll, you'll see, okay, we have all these individual programs. Um, the um, parish nursing program, uh, when Emeritus decided that they could no longer support that ministry, uh, parish nursing program came to Mark and said, can you be our, our financial parent? And so parish nursing is now, at least for now, operating within the umbrella of Park. Um, QuickBooks makes a lot of this possible. Um, and you'll also see in that list that there is some, something called a MVP reserves, Micah's backpack reserves. Um, during the uh, pandemic, the Maryland Food Bank, which is the main provider of, of foodstuffs for Park and for the Micah's Backpack program, uh, consequently, had a lot of grant funding come to them. During that period, people also increased their giving to Park to support the Micah's Backpack program. So we had a period of time where we were not spending anything, but money was coming in. So to make sure that we can continue to support Micah's Backpack at appropriate levels for our community, we set some money aside in reserves. We also have the same thing going on in our operating program. We have operating reserves that we've set aside to make sure that in a, a lean year that we will not have to cancel uh, any of the momentum that we are currently building. When the, you flip that over and, and, and look at the budget, uh, as proposed, uh, you'll see that we, the first three columns, uh, provide for you a, an insight into how uh, we believe that monies uh, will need to be allocated in the coming year. Um, and then on the far right, two columns that give you uh, something to reflect on, the, the budget that we um, just left behind in 2023, and the actual amount of money that we spent. The budget committee of Rachel uh, Nichols, um, Kathy Powderly, and myself um, studied those numbers um, and looked at what we saw coming forward uh, as our program and made our best projections. You'll see, though, that we budgeted to take money out of reserves for the last couple of years, and we did not need to do so. So we, we find it to be a rather exciting concept that we budget to put money into reserves and then we don't use it because the program income keeps up with current expenses. Um, I think that's a, an indication of the health of the organization 
and it is certainly something for us to celebrate. Um, on your copies, they were copied in color, which is kind of fortunate, but you'll see some light blue um, designations, and, and you may be notice that all of those are subtotals. Uh, so the account in the, in the bunch here that's going down this column and adding these numbers up, and it's going to say, Richard, they don't add up properly. Um, you got to eliminate the, the light blue. We did that in the spreadsheet that we used to develop the budget, and of course, um, it was very helpful to us because I would do a, a calculation of a column, and it wouldn't add up right. Oh, I've got to leave the subtotals out of that. Um, this is dry material, and we want to get to um, uh, our, our superintendent of the schools, so our comments. Um, so I, I would recommend adoption of the uh, 2024 budget that you see before you, and would, what would invite any questions that you have um, before we entertain such a motion. You want to do the motion and then take questions? I was going to do questions before with the motion, but so I move I move adoption of the 2024 budget that you have before you. So that that's taken care of. And I second it. And Rachel Nichols seconds it. And with God's help, this will be the, the financial plan that we will uh, go with in the, in the coming years. Um, all in favor of adoption of the budget indicate by a wave of a hand. Now you take questions and then. Well, there weren't any questions, Rick. Well, there weren't any. There were no questions. Those in favor, raise your hand. Those opposed, they have, they have it is accepted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Reader. Thank you so much. The bylaws, Cass, would you come and speak about the bylaws, please? Sure. Okay, so the next motion on the table. And I forgot to actually print it out. Um, so <laughs> the actual official wording is not printed, but you got it by email, so hopefully everybody read that. But the gist of the bylaws change, currently our bylaws say that the treasurer, um, aka Richard, can only serve for three term, two year terms. And um, for, for those of you who work at nonprofits or churches, you know how hard it is to uh, get a volunteer treasurer to take over. And Richard is willing to continue for another two years. So we're asking that we that uh, membership approve um, changing the bylaws to add a fourth term onto the treasurer position. And we really do want to find somebody else to relieve Richard so he's not, you know, this is my life sentence. <laughs> so so we, we uh, anticipate that in the next two years we'll find somebody else to take on that role of treasurer, but we ask, um, the motion is that we uh, change the bylaws to allow for a fourth term for the treasurer. Uh, so I make that motion. Okay, Bill Pike seconds. Um, any discussion? Thank you for your Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank, thank you, Richard. <laughs> All in favor? Anyone opposed? Anybody opposed has to be treasurer. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you so much, Richard, for your willingness to serve. We are so grateful. The time he puts in and the explanations, the details that he works on are awesome. Before you, you have the officers of the 2024, and we are going to ask um, for a vote for these officers. Any questions, any discussions on the officers in front of you? Oh. We just need to make a correction. Yes. <laughs> um, Suzanne Jones. It should be Suzanne Jones, not Suzanne Hall. We, we made her Dion Hall's sister. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> and then um, new board members, if you could please stand so people can yes. see who you are. And, and uh, Pastor Dion could not be here today because she's sick. But I'm her sister, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, our new board members. Um, so we're going to vote for the new board members to include them on our board. Thank you so much for your willingness. All those uh, in favor of supporting the officers of 2024? Aye. And those opposed? All right. So we have before us the officers of 2024. Thank you so much for serving. And we pray that God will bless you with wisdom and counsel. And we thank you for your attendance. Right now, our meetings are online. So convenient. And so we meet every um, first Wednesday. The Wednesday of, of the month. 